Hey guys, listen, I know what's going on in there. You're sucking each other's hot cocks. I'd like to take this moment to say I endorse podiums. That's a product I can stand behind. <laughs> no, but I, I will tell you this. I one time worked for Otis Elevator. I don't know if you know who they are. Who? Otis Elevators. They make elevators. Okay. It's a company. And they wanted me to come up with a slogan. I thought I had a great one. Otis Elevators, they never let you down. But... <laughs> Hey, let me ask you this. Did you ever toss a prostitute off a bridge? Uh, what's the price one? No. Bill Macy's not dead? No, no, he's 96. He's 96? Yeah, he's 96 and his cock you know is harder that, than you know Kevin Nealon. Tony Bennett? <laughs> but I mean, I've never... I don't want to be tossed in with people that actually did, right. uh, uh, not crimes, but sins, or, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I barely have uh, consensual sex. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a big fan of video games where you cannot kill a prostitute. I like the ones where... <laughs> oh, like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have a question. So you guys are, are two very funny females, but when you post videos on the internet, sometimes uh, being a female is a little bit different than if I was to post a video on the internet. What's that like Sometime. for you two? Sometimes. Uh, uh, we've been called certain things uh, many times. How do you deal with that stuff? I think, I think I'm numb to it now. We've been called everything so many times. I can't even In the beginning, it was in like, anymore. oh my God, I, I can't believe this. We should just stop doing this. And then now we just don't read the comments and keep doing yeah. it. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the right thing. I think way to the do last it. comment oh, are you guys, I read. Are was you guys guy... talking about Barfyman362? Exactly. <laughs> Is that you? No, that's, <laughs> the no, that's that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even want to give him attention, but, uh, you know, listen, you know, saying those kind of things about me. Talk I, to him. Talk to him right now. Talk to Barf. <laughs> listen, Barfy Man 362. <laughs> All right. No, you cannot rape my mother with a knife. <laughs> now it's official. Yeah, that's yeah. the kind of comment we didn't want to read anymore. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of uh, sandwich makers. Bitches, uh, go make me a sandwich. Uh, Those ones bother me less than the knife. Oh, yeah, raping the, the raping ones stuff. are worse. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to be raped with a yeah. knife. Uh -uh. I'll gladly make a sandwich. I would much rather be raped with something else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have an oral fixation, my doctor tells me, which is not good. <laughs> How did he know that? I was sucking his cock. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just thinking, you know, because that they had that Viagra thing out. Yeah. And the other day, but you know, Bob Dole said came right out and said he was one of the first. Yeah. And you know, you don't want to hear about Bob Dole's <laughs> cock, you know. <laughs> I mean, President Clinton's cock, Bob Dole's cock. What the hell? But mostly, an old man like that, an old man. <laughs> You don't want him to have a super hard cock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why? Why? Because an old man, you want him to be uh, got a pipe going, a newspaper, the dog at his feet there? Well, that in some corners is considered pipe. Oh. <laughs> but now they're going to have to create some goddamn pill that, that makes women <laughs> aroused at the sight of a fucking 70 year old dude with a super hard <laughs> cock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. This is Viagra. It's insane. <laughs> and you know what it's for? Impotent people. All right? yeah. It's for impotent guys. So get this. The, the, I read this. The, 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 the pill can make your cock hard for four hours. Right. So now, who has the four-hour hard cock? The impotent guy. <laughs> the rest of us are fucked. Yo, let me tell you about a story so true We're so meet style and it's all so cool It's about a garment torn and frayed Getting his friends, a story conveyed Walking down the streets with holes in my teeth Each rip and tear part of me you see It ain't about the brand or the label it holds It's about the journey, the stories it unfolds In these ragged clothes I find my voice A testament to resilience, my choice From the streets to the stage I rock my style In my tattered shirt I walk that mile Ripped and torn, but still I stand in my ragged attire. I command, it's not just fabric, it's a statement. I preach in my threadbare garment, I find my reason. From the barrio to the bar, I make my mark. In my worn out jeans, I leave a spark. And they call it rags, but I call it art. And every stitch and tear, I play my part. It's the struggle of the streets, the hustle so real. In my tattered jacket, I seal the deal. A symbol of defiance against the status quo. My passion, pants, I let it show. It's not about the riches or the wealth. 
I lack in my faded hoodie, I stay on track It's the heart of the hustle, the grind each day In my worn out kicks, I find my way Ripped and torn, but still I stand In my ragged attire I command It's not just fabric, it's a statement I preach In my threadbare garment I find my reach So here's to the ones with the clothes that tear In our patched up attire we have So let the world see our garments worn For in our rags our stories are born In the language of the streets we speak In our torn up clothes we find our peak me and you got a regular cocks. Meanwhile, fucking Spade is, uh, you know. Is... <laughs> yeah. Refer to Spade. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming. Dude, I know you didn't. He brought it all around and then a vicious rip kick into his best friend's cock.